Greetings, I'm Jonathan, Polygon Flow's Community Director for Dash, our next-gen plugin for Unreal Engine that makes creating environments a total breeze. In this video, I'll be covering the Road Tool, the newest addition to Dash 1.3. Let's hop into it and see what this thing is actually capable of. We'll start by opening Dash and then type Terrain into the Dash prompt window. It doesn't matter what settings we use here. All that matters is getting the terrain into the environment. We'll ideally want to use something large enough to work with, but nothing so large that it overshadows what we're doing. Once the terrain is in place with some moderately large hills to work with, we'll prompt Dash to create a curve and then position the camera above the terrain so it's easier to see what we're doing. Expand the Curve Tool options and then select Start Drawing. Draw out your preferred road shape. Once you're finished, hit Enter to complete drawing. The Curve Tool creates conforming line work over the terrain, which is going to come in handy very soon. Next, type Road into the Dash prompt bar and hit Enter to bring up the Road Tool. There's a variety of options in here that I'll go over to showcase the power of the tool. At first glance, it'll look a little bit wonky. That's because it needs to be customized to match the terrain and the curve that you're using to generate the road. Make sure that the curve is selected, then click the plus sign in the Curves option to add it to the Road Tool's calculations. Looking at the road, you'll see the wonkiness that I mentioned earlier. That's okay though, we just need to add more density to the road and increase its width. A density value of 0.9 is a pretty good point to work with, which adds enough polygonal density to the mesh to match the roundness of the curve that we're using. Width is pretty self-explanatory, a value of 10 works well here. Increasing smoothness will also help the road affix itself to the drawn curve. Next, select the terrain and click the plus icon next to surface. This will project the road mesh onto the terrain. After that, we'll want to increase the sync value to raise the road above the terrain to avoid intersecting Z-fighting with the terrain. Zooming out will show that we've got a pretty decent looking road mesh now. Next, we'll want to add some materials to make it easier to see what we're doing, so open the Dash content library, add a terrain material and a road material, and then adjust the settings to your preferred look and feel. I'll take a few minutes to fiddle with the materials a bit here and just speed through this part, but what I really want to show off is how interactive the Dash road tool is. It takes into account every change that you make to your curve or to the terrain mesh the road is being projected on. This allows for endless, non-destructive iteration and lets you focus on being creative with much less worry about having to spend tons of time reworking complex road work that you built previously. Because Dash is non-destructive, you can change anything about this environment and simply undo the changes or adjust it how you will. There's no limit to your creativity here. I think you can see the power of the road tool and just imagine what else you could make with it. Think outside the road and imagine what else you could do. I'm Jonathan and this was another tutorial on using Dash. Thanks for watching and we look forward to seeing what you guys will create. See you next time.